Hello everybody, welcome back to the... <coughs> Sorry about that. Welcome back to the second episode of Danganropa. Dan... Danganropa. I don't know how to say it anymore. But yeah, so I'm recording this right after the last episode. And uh, we're starting right exactly where we left off. I'll start by talking to those five over there. They might just do it and you press X to talk to them. Okay, so we got... Presumably angry boy. Presumably shy girl. Pretty girl. Sassy boy and fat boy. I'm gonna talk to fat boy first. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you wanna call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. Okay, my voice for you was extremely off. I apologize, Mr. Mr. Yamada. Hifu, Hifumi, Hifumi, <laughs> Hifu, Hifumi, Hifu, Hifumi, <laughs> Hifumi Yam Yamada. Okay, the Alpha or the Omega, I don't mind. Hifumi, he, oh, he's the ultimate fanfic creator. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? By the way, how much do you know about the t the world of 2D art? World world of 2D? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I... Well, in that world, I am well known as a, as a, and supremely w well in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course. They get it, of course, but... <clears throat> Saying I tainted the event, how stupid can you be? That's too bad, that's too bad about them. S but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... Wait, did his hair just like... His hair would have had a different thing. Oh, <clears throat> never mind. The words of such idiots means, mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh. Utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about the fanfiction. I am sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nike, you would comprehend its great greatness immediately. <laughs> For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. What? What? What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basest, ir our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Ah, uh, Leon. Okay. I'm gonna save her for last because she seems adorable. Adorable little Sayaka. Let's go to Angry Boy now. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Okay. So basically, he's an angry boy. He's an angry education boy. That's that's his new name. Unless the fandom already has a name for him, then we'll go with that one since I'm I'm just a loser. Okay. Kiyotaka. Ishimari. Ishimaru. So that's Ki Kiyotaka, according to what I saw about him on that thread. He went f went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with Community Public Morals Committee. And they say he respects rules above all else, earning him the, the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Anyway, you, c you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makito Knight. Am I- is it Naiji or Naigi? I- You said your name was Makoto, right? <laughs> well, that's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. Okay, he's not very- I was just about to say he was not a very angry person, but... <clears throat> I stand corrected. And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day! Got it! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right! Ugh, this guy is <laughs> kind of annoying. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go to Toko. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Aw, she's adorable! 
Okay, t Toka, Toka Fukawa, Fukawa, Toka Fukawa. Oh God, this is gonna be a wild ride for voice acting. Ultimate writing prodigy. Ah, she writes. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she went. She was ten. And they got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then two years ago, she released. She released. So lingers the ocean. A love story is said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of ev top of every hottest men poll. Despite her age, sh age, she's won countless literary prizes, and all of her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to known as the ultimate writing prodigy. She's adorable, though. She's like so nervous and shy. But what else would you call a young and talented author? I want to read her books. They should like publish them in real life. But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type with all the her masterpiece being a romance and all. What's your problem? It, it's not polite to stare, you know. What stop! Heck? Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. F filthy creature? No, I just thought. Uh, I know what you just thought. You just thought you you've never never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. Oh, don't be like that, Toko. You're adorable. N no, th that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you. D don't bother lying, trying to l lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you, you, I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. L whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow. Talk about an inferior complex. I was way off about what a successful, uh, a successful, successful author would be like. Is she a tsundere? I feel like she's like a shy tsundere. It's okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say tsundere because like, I don't know. And to Leon. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Leon Kuwata. Oh god. I'm gonna annoy so much people with the voices. I've already forgotten like all the voices. <laughs> What's up? Oh, he's the ultimate baseball star. I like him. I like his little goatee thing. He's uh... That is quite the face. <laughs> I recognize that name. That is also quite the face. He played for the National High School champs as their clean as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that's that superb athletic specimen is you seriously? Huh? What's wrong? N nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate basketball star and all. What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was expect expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found out found that article and picture of you online, that's what you looked at, uh, that's how you looked then. What? Oh man. You found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. What the crap? <laughs> this is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. <laughs> I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of a national championship reg regulation. Whoa. But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna die back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, I can I be totally honest with you? you? Know. I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. What? He's never practiced, and he was still his team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on a, on guitar, and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear someone something like that from an all from a baseball all star. And uh, Sayaka Mizono. Mizono. Hi, I'm Sayaka Mizono. I look forward to getting to know you. I I think my heart just melted. Oh. Oh, my heart. That was... Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. That's what she said, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, pop sense. Oh. 
Well, we we are screwed. <laughs> the way she moves is possibly mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in the thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. <laughs> uh, bleh, bleh. As the ultimate pop, sing uh, pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out how she'd be going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she is really beautiful, almost like a doll or something. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm a lot. What? I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I'm psychic. Wow. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Hey. Uh, huh? Hey, by any chance... Now huh? what? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, Just did... Just hold on! Jeez, you guys, how long are you planning to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... S sorry. Just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um... Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It sounded like Say Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Hey, more people! Okay. Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. So we got... I... I... O... O... Oi... I... Then we got... Chihiro... Chihiro... Kyoko... Oh, I've heard so I've seen a thing or two about Kyoko. Uh, not really, but I just know who Kyoko is, kind of. I know Junko. And then there's... Uh... Mundo? Oh, I can examine this stuff? What's that? Mailbox. There's, some there's nothing inside. Oh, okay. There's nothing. Okay, we're gonna go with Mondo. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but just nice to fucking meet ya. He is amazing. I Wow. <laughs> but okay, biker gang leader, that makes more sense. Mon Mondo Awada, huh? Which means He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He has earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. I better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Okay, can I just say, his hair... Ah. Okay, so you know this one, like, chips? It's like, they're like a funnel and stuff. It's like a funnel and like, people put them on their fingers and pretend they're witches or whatever. That's what his hair reminds me of. I don't know what the name of the chip is called, but that's what his hair reminded me of. Okay, we're gonna go to you. Hey ya! I'm Aoi Asahina. Aoi. my friends just call me Hina. Hey. Okay, Hina, nice to meet ya. Ooh, swimming pro. Aoi A Ashihina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. Ugh. The combination of her ability, appearance, and, um, proportions <laughs> has been widely discussed online. Well, that's mm. perverted. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Magato Nike. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not. There's, that is a smile that can cure cancer. I'm sorry, but it, it, look at that smile. No, not something like that. It, it is that. You got it! Sure, sure. Got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain now. Yeah! Makoto Nike. Makoto Nike. She just kept, she just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't, you don't know? If you want to remember some, someone's name, you gotta write it, write it on your hand three times. I've never heard, I've never heard of that before in my life. Mm. 
Hey, by the way, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. So is it not edgy? Not eggy? Not eggy. <laughs> I'm so I'm I'm such a freaking idiot. Okay. You spell it exactly mm. like it sounds. Um <laughs> Well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out. <sighs> I'm an idiot. Okay, I thought the last one was <sighs> I thought it was in blue text, so like it said you spelled like N E. A E G. Okay, never mind. I'll just figure it out and later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet ya. Sh sure, same here. Well, one thing, I learned that she that she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Okay, I'm gonna go to Junko. Hi, I'm Hi. Junko Enishima. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Junka, okay, ultimate fashionista. Anybody would recognize this one. Yep, thought so. She's got more charm and presence than any uh, than any high school girl in the count in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of mag magazine covers, but uh, I feel like that doesn't quite match up to her. Yeah, to her up. Uh, I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Huh? Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> ah, junk, oh, junk. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, ha. Well, of course, so they're totally photoshopped. F photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. Does she, does she say junk a lot? I hope she says junk a lot. Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? <laughs> That's a face. Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me so all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to, to Photoshop the crap out of photos, out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes, eyes and chunks super big, and tweak the skin so it looks ceramic and porcelain. Okay, yeah, she said just say junk a lot. Oh, so many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to this girl. This is the shy one. Hey, nice it to is. Meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Chihiro Fujisaki. The ultimate. Okay. Uh, hold the front door. She's a programmer, which means she's into like video game type things and stuff, right? Sorry, I kind of embarrassed myself. I kind of embarrassed and ever introduced myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? M maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just might... We just... Yeah, we just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Good point. Sorry. You, you don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chi bleh, bleh, bleh. Sorry, my ear is really, really itchy right now. I'm trying to itch it. Chi Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting edge programs she created. She's the ultimate programmer. So she she's also the got the timid little bunny type bunny bunny bun 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 I love bunnies bunny type thing go, thing going which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um. Well, are you, why are you crying? Why are you crying? Hey, so listen. Uh, I'm huh, sorry. I'm really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing um. for now? Well, just because you seem upset, you must be mad at me, right? Oh, no, not at all. I was just, I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I love her. She's amazing. <laughs> I'm glad. She's probably gonna die now that I said that. And <sighs> I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. And Kyoko. Um, can I ask you your name? <laughs> My name is Kyoko Kiriguri. Kyoko Kiriguri. I'll do it! Question mark? 
she's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't sound uh, show up anywhere in that Hope Speak Academy thread. And I did see that there were, stu there were students like me. Ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so, what are you doing at this what? school? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So, what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Oh, okay. Fine, be little, be like that, Miss Kyoko. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Those four over there are the only ones left. I don't feel like you're a student. I'm sorry, but, uh... You seem a bit out of place, sir. Oh. Can I look at that? No? Oh, I can. That surveillance camera has what's looking like a gun attached to it. There's no way of, there's no way that's a real gun, right? I I think it is. Okay. I, is this guy trying to like um I am Sakura Okami. You're a woman? That would explain the schoolgirl outfit. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> I was not expecting that. Alright then. Ultimate martial artist. Jesus. Oh jeez, I almost asked her, <laughs> asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That seems like a pretty uh, anime number, if you ask me. Oh, did I? I might have hit, hit the microphone, I don't know. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre, even though she's the closest known relative to the primates. She's the famed missing link. Oh, okay, that's that's kind of mean, don't you think? <laughs> Any incoming Hope Speak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of your of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you! Huh? Y yes I snapped to attention without even realizing it. She then st started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. She had got some pretty eyes, though. She has had some pretty eyes, man. If she would frickin' look at me! God. Humph. What a shame. You're not at all like this at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. <laughs> okay, we got Byaku, Byakuya, Ashuhira, and so Why don't you have a last name? Suspicion! Suspicion! I don't trust her. Eh, I I'm probably looking too much into this, but she don't have a last name. She means business. She's she's the killer. She's gonna kill us all because she doesn't have a last name. All right, she doesn't have a first name. Dun dun dun. Okay, we're gonna go to Yashihiro. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure, Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah. I know I will. I love your hair, by the way. That is hair goals. What are you? I don't even know what a clairvoyant is. Yashi, Yashihiro, Yashi, Yasuhiro Haga, Hagakuri, known as Supernova in the psychic community, the trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get what, for, for, fortune telling stuff. Oh, fortune telling. Is that what that is? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 
it's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help help wondering if he, there's any truth any truth at it, to it. Could it be? Ah, okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? Serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in his mouth. What? And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep in Lum Lumeria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink? We're in high school? You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. See, and well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. Oh, Makoto is getting all sassy, huh? Alright, I'm gonna save Celeste for last. Name's Byaku Togami. Byaku Tai Togami. You seem pleasant. Uh, a fluent progeny. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introdu introduction I've ever heard. <laughs> but there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byaku Byakuya Togam Togami. He's the, he's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. Uh, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to get comfortable. I'm sorry if you're hearing noises. Conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations, and his own personal assets are well vast. His title of ultimate affluent affluent pro progeny is completely accurate. He is the definition of exception exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from the Hope Speak Academy thread online. Come on. <laughs> We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. This aura says to me, you and I will never will never stand on the same level. Like a king in training. Alright. Celeste. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. I don't know how to feel about her. She has red eyes, doesn't have a last name, and she has like the nicest voice ever. I'm gonna. I'm, hmm. <laughs> She's a gambler. Oh, wait, no, wait. what? Ludenberg. Celestia Luden, huh? Okay. I, ha I have nothing to, uh. Ludenberg, it is my name, but if you don't mind, I'd prefer if you call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, huh? right? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is, is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. Okay, she is, uh, she's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess rumors in that thread were right about her. A self-styled Celestia Ludenberg, she's the ultimate gambler, who, who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic l lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. <coughs> They say she entered and won well, un an underground gambling tournament, earn earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally she totally cleaned out the other t players, taking their life taking their life savings and laughing as she. Okay, wow. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. He he he, or he he he. The smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. And with that, all the introduction introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I, I think someone said something said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? What um, was that about? Listen. Well, you see, um. Makito, you should, you should said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just... You're just asleep, right? Well, the same thing is true for all of us. Wait, what? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just... I, I just said that. Just after each of us got into the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in this school. That's what happened to you, right? But but that's just weird. That, that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! 
<laughs> I, I, I like him. Exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. And that's not the only. That's not. And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the all the windows in their classes, in their classes and hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was just a bunch of metal, big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's been missing, even my cell phone. Um. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked with some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But that, that, but there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What is, what's, what's it doing there? Aww. Maybe we got caught up in some, some kind of, like, you know, crime or something. Is it? Like what? Like a, like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of of the school orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh? Well, if that's all it is, it's nap time you for know me. What I, mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use some shut a little shut eye. I could feel everyone's tensions evaporating, but then it began. Should I be scared? Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. This is not what I thought the bear was going to sound like at Am all. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seems totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unner unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like it was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an a accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at uh, right now. Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you're ill, excuse me. <laughs> hey, where are you gonna where are you gonna take off just like that? Could it be Oh yeah, now I get it. The whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank god it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked out if it, if this was real. I think you know? it is, Yoshi hero our oh, hero. Alright, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Uh, Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why do they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait for me. I want to go with you. <laughs> that is that, then. I will see you all there. Anyway. N not that anyone cares, but uh, I'm gonna go, too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was fro f frozen there. Still. Uh, but I didn't read that right. That uh, uneasy feeling I h I'd had before. I couldn't get my it out of my mind. It all looked like I was going to... I was... I wasn't... And it looked like I wasn't the only one. The, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However, maybe, but just staying staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I uh, I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of no, really nervous. And we don't have a choice. But here we go. They said to the gym, right? Uh... Uh... Yes. Is there a reason there's all these empty slots? Should I do... Th I'm gonna do this, just in case I need to come back. Uh... Okay, uh... Oh, can I talk to all these people? Oh, yeah, I can I can move around a lot more now. There's nothing up there, nothing down there. All right. Can't look at all the trophies now. Okay. There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what time it is. I I wonder what it is. Okay. 
Holy cow, what's with this huge metal hatch? It's like the- it looks like, like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? This door definitely, definitely wasn't here then, so... Okay, we're gonna talk to these people. Are you okay? Is everyone okay? True. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. Oh, I didn't. I didn't push on that. <sighs> okay. Kyoko, okay, okay, what did you got to say? Listen. I know how you feel, but okay. Uh. Aye. What, what the hell? Is this some kind of bad joke? This is bad. What was with that announcement? It was like totally creepy. Shit. What the hell kind of game are we playing? Are they playing? Okay, and Sayaka. Uh, um. Something weird is something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me. Okay. Let's go. Leave the area? Yes. Are they all with me? No? Oh, they're all right there. Okay, to the gym. Gym is this way. Did they say go to the gym, right? Yeah, okay. Hey, come on! God, I, hit, I, had, I had no idea this ho this Hope Speak Academy place was gonna be such a pain in my balls. It really ain't... It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um, and why isn't any there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that like... Seriously, not good. They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Shit. Wait, well, hell. It ain't It ain't like I'm scared of nothing. Let's just get this over hey, with. Hey, where's, who, where's whoever called us here? Thinking? Mondo, stop. No running. Well, I, too, shall go. Hey, wait, don't leave me here all alone. Time for some tutorial action. You press the triangle button to observe the room you're in. Observing will display will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Okay. Okay, I can interact with that thing. Oh, you guys are paper. Okay. Let's check out this sword. A display case. There's some kind of trophies and pl plaques inside. Of course, all students who go here are ultimate, ultimate, right? So this is probably just a tiny fraction of their of their awards. All right, TV. The school has a, a lot of TVs. They they couldn't all just be here for the, for that weird school broadcast, could they? I get everything. Okay, and then there's the door. What? Oh, no, I don't. Ah. Oh. Still feels than Edney's dread. I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw that there. Were, and that I saw what was waiting for us there. Dang it! Ah. Oh. oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. See, told ya. It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way, they just emphasize how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Uh. I'm scared. Hey, it's the bear. Huh? Huh? A, a teddy, teddy bear? bear? I'm not. A oh, they're talking. Bear. Okay. I am Monokuma. Yeah, that's so. And I am this school's headmaster. Oops, sorry. It was the strangest thing I think I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was was what was I seeing? It was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. 
such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of out of place. And all of that anxiety I'd been carrying, I'd been I'd I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. What? 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 That teddy bear can talk. C calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey! I told you already. Now. I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. Why? It moved. Seriously, man. Calm down. It's, pro it's probably just a remote control or toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep. Deeper than the marina trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folk at NASA can't, can't recreate or even comprehend it. Ah, but about- but don't make me say stuff like to that. Stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Oh, pun. Bear? That? Really? You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then. Moving on. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now. Quiet down. Quiet down now. Quiet down. Ah, okay, so... He has abandoned the gag. Good morning! Everyone stand at, at attention and bow and... Good morning! Hear me? Good morning! What's your problem? You, you don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then. Oh, uh, hey, hey, let us com commence with a most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. N now, uh, make no mistake, you few students, so full of potential, represent the hope of the world. And to protect such a splendid hope, you will all live, live a communal life together solely within the confines of the school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regula regulations of this of the school. Huh? Mm. Ah, now then, regarding the end date for this communal life. There isn't one. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school of life you've been assigned. W what? Did he just say, until the day we d die? Yep. Oh, but, <laughs> but fear not, we have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack any of the common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I'm not screwing with you. I am no liar. I am of that you can be 100% sure. Uh-huh. Ah, and you, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world, so you don't have to worry about that dirty old that have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond the walls, um, beyond these walls ever again. Cut off. So all those metal plates all over the school. They're there to keep us. They're there to keep us trapped in here. That's exactly what they're for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help, help. Help will not come. So with all of that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with, with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I can't I don't care if, if the school who, who or whoever else is behind it, uh, behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn you. Yeah, cut the shit out. It isn't even it isn't funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? I like it. But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where, you, where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether you're or not yet what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope Speak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you you're already deciding decided you want to leave. Hey. Um... Oh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention that one thing. There is one way out, one way for you to leave the school. <laughs> really? Actually. As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who who would like to leave. I'll I call it the graduation clause. 
Now then. Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal li lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt, the ha disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What, what do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> Poo hoo hoo hoo. Well, you know. If one person were to murder another, m murder, yes, stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igni igniting, how, how do, you, how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it, to, give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Oh, oh, uh, this is Makoto. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> Boo -hoo 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 -hoo. I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beat the heck out of the human catching a salmon, duh, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hopes of the world, but you know. Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And, uh, and I just fa find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... It's... Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah! Stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. 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 What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! That was creepy. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, the school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? And you can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead. Go on and kill, kill, killing spree. Alright, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Eh? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us, so you can just go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, cuz, I mean, you know, it's all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like, <laughs> dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. <laughs> Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What kind of, what the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What's what do you mean? Wait. <laughs> Wait, you mean like your hair? You son of a bitch! Ah! Mondo roared louder than there was a sudden boom. It was like the sound of floorboards as he kicked as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. As he flew out Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet, he lacked he's lock onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulation! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! <laughs> Mondo is a good character. Hey, damn it! What? No smart ass comeback this time? Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if- I don't know if her ferocity- Feroc- Fero- I can't say that- Feroc- Fero- Ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He- th he threw Monokuma. And as he did... The hell? What the- That sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. That was a painful ringing in my ear. There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's it's in real life, I'd never seen anything like it. What? But you know, this means that the teddy bear has been destroyed. Been the teddy bear has been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there's another one. You son of a bitch. You seriously tried to kill me just now. Of course. 
Well, yes, I was seriously. Well, yes, I was. I was serious about trying to kill you. After you did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you'd better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. <laughs> hey, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have have been replaced all throughout the school. Yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I won't, I, I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time. So you don't, so don't let it happen again. The, that's not even punishment. That's just wrong. Well. Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This, this is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the E Handbook. Why is why is he posing like that? Ahem. Yes. Well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to the to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start to, when you start it up start it up, I will display your name. Anyways, make sure you have the right one. No, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more more uses than that. Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. Uh, it'll keep on ticking. And that's so. And that's th and thanks to its space age design, it can withstand an impact force up to ten tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make you sure you review you review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of the school regulations will not be tolerated. Shing. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, the same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishment in place in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye. Please enjoy our abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So guys, so guys, how would you define what we just experienced? <laughs> how? Why? I don't understand any of this. We have to li live here forever, or c kill? What? What just happened? Oh my... <laughs> Never mind. Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma, Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice mm -hmm. is, if we want to get out of, out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? What? But killing someone that... <laughs> We are about to- we were abducted out of nowhere and stuck into this, in this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other. This is- this- this is just- what is this? Ridiculous! A lie is, the, is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. They- uh, this all has to be fake. Hmm. Right. Right now it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is- so in other words, Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized that the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted v vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us had become suspicious of, suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hope so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. At the end of the prologue? The end. Oh. Sur surviving students. To be continued. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright. Can you pause? 
Oh, uh, you you received the school class. Did I, did I skip that on accident? I hit. Oh, oh man, it, dang it! You received the school crest present. Oh hey, I, I, okay. Okay, well I'm gonna end this episode here, everybody. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I did not realize the last episode was that short, and I think this one is longer, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't have a set time for these. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to Big Emma Hopper today, and I will see you in the next video. I'm really enjoying the series, and I'm excited. I'm gonna play all of it, hopefully, if I don't. <laughs> I'm not, okay, I, with this series, I will most likely not butt out, like, last minute, but... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to when you become a hopper today, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!